What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, honey. Be back to deliver another <clears throat> daily buzz for you guys. I wanted to come on and record another video for you all. I recorded a uh, a reading already today, but I wanted to give you you all another one. I don't know. I just kind of feel guilty when I only give y'all one reading, so <laughs> that's why I'm on here. Probably gonna be a little short one. We'll see when we get into the reading. Um. There's Nova. I always I, I I refer to Nova as my protector. So this, she's like a spirit guy. She's my spirit animal, my spirit baby, y'all. So I start. I thought we would start off with messages from your higher self, actually your spirit guy, your spirit team, and see what they want you to know. I want to see what they want you to know. First, um, as always, y'all, I'm Honeybee. Welcome to the Honey Pots. Welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome back to my returning subscribers, my day ones, those of you who've been rocking with me from the start. I appreciate all of you, you guys. Cross watchers, you are welcome here as well. If you just so happen to stumble across our channel and you see something that you like right here, feel free to join our colony by hitting the subscribe button. You may also hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload content to the channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend as always. I do offer personal readings. If you are interested in personal readings with me, check the description box down below. My contact information is listed there. Uh. Y'all guess what? We have a community tab now. I'm gonna be able to um, post messages for you all and actually interact with you all in the comment section. You know, like little one-on-ones so I can actually respond to the comments, y'all. So feel free to holler at me over there. You know, I like engaging with y'all, interacting with y'all. Also gonna have a poll that I'm gonna be putting out um, it might be, I might do this over the weekend, so be on the lookout out for that. Um, I want to say Sunday, we're going to go ahead and do the poll. I was thinking about getting a schedule for the channel, y'all, or just a poll to see what kind of readings you guys would like. If there are any, any readings in specific that you would like me to introduce to the channel, um, for you guys. We're going to be doing a lot of dope stuff on the channel. Sorry, y'all. Nova. She likes a wire. She likes dangly things. She likes things that hang. Okay, so let me see. Um, what messages from my collect? Give me some messages from my collective spirit. Their higher self. What does their higher self want them to know? It says believe in yourself and your ability to carry out your dreams. So what I'm getting here is if you I don't know. I heard fail. Like some someone may be feeling like a failure. They want you to know, like, listen, um, Whatever you put forth into the universe, it, it's about trial and error, right? It's not. It may not take off um, sore early on in the beginning. It may take you a couple of times. You know, sometimes it takes. It's gonna take longer. But this, just know that the universe wants to see. They want to see if you are serious about what it is that you say that you want, right? They want to see your persistence. They want to see your consistency. They want to see you stick with it. They want to see if you're really about what you say you're about, right? before they go ahead and give it to you because they're gonna give it to you now this is your higher self is saying believe in yourself whatever it is that you want to achieve just know your future self is telling you that you already have it you have to speak that into existence and into um the now um i can do this like you know like whether you want to be I heard happily married, like I'm happily married. I just haven't received my kingdom husband or my kingdom wife yet. I'm a successful business owner. You have to you have to talk about it like it, it already it all is already in your grasp at this time, right? It's already on its way to you. It just haven't it just hasn't made its way to you just yet. But just know it's coming. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in yourself. Even when nobody no one else believes in you, right? It's almost like um Everyone didn't hear your calling because it wasn't a conference call. <laughs> your calling was between you and spirit, you and God, you and the universe. Nobody had those had had was on that call with you, right? You 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 are one on one with the divine. And even if people don't believe in what it is that you're trying to do, 
you still have to believe in yourself because they're gonna be naysayers now they're gonna be people that you know never let a bitch with no vision try to speak fear into your plans never let a bitch with no vision speak fear into your plans and i'll say this about yourself i'm not calling you a bitch y'all but i'm just saying anybody or yourself don't talk yourself out of something that you can't let go of it's been on your spirit for for a long time you were given this nudge to do this because this is this is your purpose this is your destiny this is your divine destiny it says let go of the idea that you are not ready right so like i said even if it doesn't take off like in its initial state in its initial stages it may not take off right away everything it, it grows it takes time just like with an infant you know you grow something when you birth a baby in its infant stages they grow infant toddler they go into school they become teenagers they become young adults they become adults it, it grows over time everything gets better with time don't give up it says don't compare your life to others your journey is your own like i just finished saying it's for you this is for you it don't matter who 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 drops who falls off along the journey right you're gonna lose people along the way and that's fine those people were only meant to mingle with that part of you in that in that phase in your life everybody can't go where you're going and that's okay you don't want everybody with you when you get there anyway trust me And it says you will break free from all that no longer serves you. Like I just said, you don't want everybody with you either. Even if you lose people, places, people, persons, places, or things along your journey, that's okay. It says uproot your life and leave all that is familiar to you. You have to leave the familiar. And that's another thing. Spirit will not only sometimes not bless you with your blessings because they know you're giving, your giving nature, your kind heart. You don't want to share with everybody. And not everybody is deserving of the gifts that the universe is about to bless you with. Oh, about to bless you with. So some of you may have something that's coming in for you soon that you don't even see coming. You're not even, but they're telling you get prepared. Get prepared. They're about to show you how good it can get. Especially if this is something that you've been working at a long time. Whatever it is, y'all. School, um, schooling, jobs, your life path, if you started a business. Whatever it is you've been working towards. This could just be you working on yourself. Right? Following your heart will lead you to the right things. That's how I said. Follow your heart. Follow your destiny. If you've been given an idea, it's because it's, it's, it's within your soul. It's, it's your soul print. It's your imprint. This is in your divine blueprint. Follow the signs. Some of you may like stars. You may, you know, you may stargaze. It says, be careful who you take advice from. Never let a bitch with no vision speak fears into your plan. I'm sorry, y'all curse on this channel. Y'all know I don't warn y'all about this. I just keep saying it. I, I, I just said this. So, like I said, get it, get an advice. Be careful. Like, don't ask nobody, oh, we will, what you think, what you about to think about this idea. What you, it don't matter what they think. What you think? What do you think? Right? All right. I like it. I like it, spirit. They wanted me to hop on and deliver this message, y'all. Because I was laying down. Not even gonna lie. I had ate. I had eat, just finished eating some tacos. Some real authentic Mexican tacos. They so good. Oh, my God. I'm a foodie. I'm a foodie. I am a foodie. Some of you may have some haters around you also that don't want to see you succeed. So it says be careful who you take your take your advice from. I hear evil eye, so make sure make sure you're wearing your evil eye protection um jewelry or you know you're doing your return to senders. Because everybody don't mean you well now. Some people want to be around you just to see who you in what you have going on. And like I said, be careful who you who you're um asking for advice because also ultimately when you ask people for advice you let them in on what it is that you have going on don't do that don't do that because people will send you evil eye and that will stop that will cause delays you have some haters around them and if it's not people like in your immediate circle and actually i think that you you may have one or two in there like it could be you know people that watch y'all see what you're doing look ten of pentacles didn't i say this is gonna leave you gonna leave a legacy with this Whatever you have going on, this is your destiny. Like I said, it's already on its way to you. This is inheritance, old money, tradition, marry into money, legacy, roots, windfall, business, empire. Your shit is about to take off. 
your shit is about to take off. This is a 10 of pentacles. Look, on the clock, it's 10, right? I feel like you've completed karmic cycles. The Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is about good karma. Look, I can't make it up. You had 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups. Love and marriage, emotional fulfillment within yourself. You have marriage here twice, security, stability, good fortune. I just finished talking about that Wheel of Fortune with good fortune. Yeah, look, completion. Some of you could be traveling the world. Some of you could be getting love um, on the internet. I don't know if you have a platform, something that you do. Whatever it is that you're that you're um, venturing off into, it has staying power. Like, the, people are going to notice you. They're going to notice you for the work that you do. Some of you may, um, you may be asked to travel. And I hear speak, like mentor, give advice. You're going to be very happy. Ace of Cups, beginnings, new love. Some of you have new love coming in. Some of you may meet your partner while traveling. Also, for some of you, this whatever that it is that you're venturing off into, this business empire that you're building, this is how you're going to meet your divine partner. You're the kingdom husband or your kingdom wife. Wife, this is how you're going to meet this person. Traveling by throwing yourself into your work, whatever it is that you're passionate about, wherever it is your soul is leading you, this is where you're going to come across your partner. You have marriage here three times. And it's stable, solid. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. You have the King of Swords, stern, masculine, energy, power, uh, authority, legal matters, head over heart, discipline. This is you right now, very disciplined. They want you to stay disciplined. For some of you, though, this is this person may you may be dealing with is going to be a, a Swords energy. So this is um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Don't have to be. This could just be someone that embodies that type of energy. You have a strong masculine energy coming towards you. Someone that stands in truth. This person that stands in truth. They're in their own power. This person is in their own power. This is someone that is, you know, this, you know, you ever heard of build a bitch or build a bear? Like, you won't have to build this person. They're going to be already built. This person is going to be already established. King of Wands. Oh, some of you got some offers. So, some of you have two, two at least two suitors that's coming towards you born leader visionary bold entrepreneur boss ardent or this could be the same person um wants energy is aries leo sagittarius that's fire energy this could be the same person or it could be two two different people because like i said both of these things say born leader and i said this person is gonna be already built this person is gonna already be established a king of wands is established it's an entrepreneur or boss like, this is somebody that's already independent. Like, you know, this is someone that's not coming to take anything off of you. They're coming to add what it is to, that you already have. Ooh. Ooh. But some of y'all feel like you already know who this is. With this high priestess energy here. You may be the high priestess energy. And this person is drawn towards you. Your intuition is telling you who this person is. A lot of you, you already know who this person is. I feel like if you know who this person is, this is someone that you may have done business with this person in the past or you had some kind of encounters in the past. Two of Cups is under the day, right? This may be someone that you dated in the past and this connection came to an end with this death card because you, you had to go off like you were meant to meet this person. You were meant to exchange energies with this person and then... You two has to go down your separate paths. Because you had to go get your shit together. And this person has to go get their shit together. And I'm here to tell you, they got their shit together. King of Swords with King of Wands on this side of the table. And you're sitting over here with Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. These two are... are these two are... Self, I hear self-made. You and this person both. You may meet this person while traveling. Or this person may travel for work. This may be something that they do. Like this person may um drive cross country they may work overseas for uh something this person could travel for work this person is probably if they do travel they're going to want to take you along with them on their trips on their journeys this person is going to want to take trips with you they, this person is going to shower you they're going to shower you look six of wands you're going to be the center of this person's attention they ain't going to see nobody but you Public recognition, like I said, you can some of you may be being uh notoriety, you may be no no getting noticed, especially if you have a platform. If you're an influencer of some sort, public recognition, fame, pride, victory, progress, good news, rewards, popularity, praise. Progress is because you made the progress. Like you held on to your vision, whoever it is that you are. It says visionary here. You may be this visionary. For some of you, you went forward and uh 
visionary with high priestess for some of you you may have a spiritual business for some of you And if it's not a spiritual business, you just followed your intuition. And this would lead you ultimately to your Ten of Pentacles, your life success. And it attracted this person towards you. They like they like your boss demeanor. This is boss lady. Mm-hmm. Ending in rebirth. Like your life is transforming. New beginning. No, new beginning. <laughs> so beginning. <laughs> Kennel. Some of you may be dog owners or maybe thinking about getting a dog. I hear kin. Kenneth may be significant. You have a new beginning, a renewal to life. And this could be a new a renewal to this to a cup situation. Like I said, this could be someone that you uh that you had dealing with dealings with in this in the past, but it didn't go anywhere, right? Because you two both had some things that you had to work on. But listen, you couldn't see the full extent of what there's still things hidden about this two of cups connection and i don't think it's anything bad i just think about it's where it is that it's gonna go like this this you know this person may not have been right for you at the time and you may not have been right for this person which is why the death the trans the ending had to occur within this connection right but you you're not seeing the full extent of this two of cups this is coming back around it's coming back around. Something that you left out in the cold is coming right back right back around. It's coming back up to the surface. You're gonna meet someone. And if it's this, this is not anyone from the past, y'all. This may be this may be someone, like I said, you may meet while traveling, or this is someone new that you're gonna meet that travels for work. The sun. I can't make it up. This is a Leo energy happiest card in the deck. It says happiness, satisfaction, hope. Prosperity, vitality, luck, clarity, achievement, love, fulfillment. You're going to be fulfilled. Pinnacle, ten of pinnacles, ten of cups. Six of wands. You have some good energy here. That's what I said in the beginning. Hold on to your vision. Hold on to your vision. Hold on to your vision. Because I hear what you want is right around the corner. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Look, sudden action is coming in quick too. Someone is about to take charge. Queen of Cups. Somebody is going is coming towards this Queen of Cups energy. Right here, you may also be an intuitive uh, high priestess energy. You have Queen of Cups. She's very intuitive, mature woman. Romance. Romance love is it is coming towards this person. You may be a mother. You may be a counselor, like a mentor, like I said, someone that speaks. Uh, even if you're not a public speaker, like people hang on to your every word. People seek you out for guidance. They seek out your knowledge. They want to know what it is you know or what it is that you think. When you speak, you may be someone of little words. You don't speak too much, but when you speak, people listen. You have sudden action, quick action coming towards you. Someone is going to take charge. Be brave. This is going. Someone is going to take a risk. But you could be this risk taker also. This could be you. Because you took all of those, all of these risks, this is why you manifested this sun. But I feel like this is someone that's coming towards you. Again, you have Knight of Swords energy. You could definitely be dealing with a knife, with a, I'm sorry, with a, um, a air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I, I hear face their fears. <laughs> Look, face their fears. The full card. Someone is really ready to take this leap of faith. Step into the unknown adventure, new life, new beginning, free spirit, naive, leap of faith, spontaneous. Someone wants to, um, someone is going to take a leap of faith towards you. I, I hear, fuck it, I'm going for it. Like, somebody's just like, I'm going for it, you know? This may be someone um, that's real timid. And I don't want to say, like, you intimidate this person. But this may be someone that's real shy, you know? They, this is, may be someone that would rather just let life happen for them instead of taking a bull by the horn, like, actually taking risks when it comes to love. Because this person is adventurous when it comes to getting them to, the, to that bag. They're going to go get that bag. But when it comes to doing love, this person, like, they shy away from it. You know, this person may be very shy or just timid, you know? Four of Wands is here. Look, someone is going to take a leap of faith towards a connection. 
Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, the Sun. But this is this connection is going to be very fulfilling. It's going to be very happy. You have Two of Cups with the Four of Wands. That's definite marriage. That could be, you know, when I get the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands, that, that gives me twin flame, twin flame vibes. Or if it's not a twin flame, y'all, this could just be higher level soulmate, right? Let me see. I want to pull some other cards. What else, Spirit? Let me get one more tarot card and then I'm going to pull some other. I'm going to pull from another deck and we're going to wrap this reading up, y'all. What is this? What is this? Five of Wands. Conflict, competition, tension, arguments, rivalry, chaos, egos clash, struggle, obstacles. Like I said, this person is overcoming some last final obstacles. And I think that the, the last obstacle is their fear of actually, you know, taking this risk. And I think this is because this person is shy. But I feel like once this person actually gets towards you and gets to know you, this person is going to feel your nurturing nature, this Queen of Cups. Like, this is a, you know, this is water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're nurturing. Like, you know, you're the emotionally intelligent of the Zodiac. Oh, of the Zodiac. I'm sorry. This person is going to be able to feel your warmth. Because this five of wands falls right on top of the sun. I feel like you're going to bring a sense of calmness to this person's fears. I think their fears are around love. This person is afraid that they don't know how to do love. They probably had connections in the past that they were in that fell short. And it was probably because of something they did or something the person they were with did. But this, I hear giving love one more, one more try. They want to give it one more try. Again, you have wedding here. You have wedding here. You have marriage and wedding here at least three or four times throughout this spread. Yeah, this, this is why this person is so hesitant with this Five of Wands energy. Because this person has been schemed. They have been lied to, cheated on. People have stolen from them. Thank you for the confirmation, Spirit. Um, This person has been backstabbed. They ran across some opportunists. Like I said, if this person is a go-getter, they travel for work. You know, any, any type of traveling job, that's some bucks. That's some big bucks. People look, often look at this person and they saw dollar signs. People play this person. But this person is going to get the bag. This person just don't want to, they don't want, they don't want to dip their toe into the wrong pond. Right? So this is why this person is slow. This is why this person is slow. Patient, slow progress, practical, hard worker, conservative, methodical, grounded effort. This is why this old person is slow in coming in or taking leaps of faith because this person, they dealt with some, some shady characters in the past. They didn't have, they, this person is an upstanding character. The people that they were dealing with was not on their level. Like, this person dated down. They didn't date up. This person did not date up. What else? What other cards do I want to pull? What cards? Okay. I wanted to pull these. Let me see what messages I get from here, y'all. Let me see. This person, hmm. This person could have been a runner at a time, y'all. If this is somebody in the past, the past, this is why this person, they uh, when you two separated, they ran across a lot of shady characters. This is why this person, uh, they're taking their time. This person wasn't ready to accept the love that you had and offered them in the past. Especially if this is someone from the past. Because I did see reunion. I see a reunion. I saw reconciliation. Let me get a few cards from this, y'all. And I'm going to wrap up this reading. Because our video is about to cut out anyway. Let's see what we can get off this deck. If I can get anything at all. Let me see. Damage. Before you date me, understand I'm a damaged and broken soul. And this is why you two had to go into um seclusion from one another because you both had some things that you had to work on you had to get your shit together and this person has to get their shit together but listen they got their shit together now they all the way together and so are you and now it's time for you and this person to come back into union that's if you will have this person that is that's if you will have them universe is if they're orchestrating they're orchestrating a meetup for you and this person to come right back into union with, with each other right right This person, like I said, this person could have been used for sex in the past. They have bad relationships, y'all. I hope this helps. I'll see y'all in the next video.